Finally, at seven, fall is apple season, and while we all enjoy a piece of pie or a mug of cider, we rarely pause to reflect on how that apple got from the farm to our home. That's why we have Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube to check it out. Hey guys, I'm here with photojournalist Corey Burns. What's up? We're on our way to Heller's Orchard in Wapwallapin. Now we've done stories here before, but they use this crazy machine to help them pick apples that I think deserves a closer look. Greg Heller doesn't have much time to harvest his apple crop, partially seen here from Skycam 16 at Heller Orchards in Wapwallapin. Window is September 1st to November 1st. So okay. Two months. Yes. Greg and his okay. team can pick through an acre a day. With 60 acres of just apples here, okay. that doesn't leave time for any days off. We need to be at it, yeah. So you're here seven days a week? We're here seven days a week. <laughs> Luckily, apple picking isn't what it used to be. Well, when I was a kid, we used bushel crates. Now, harvesting apple crop looks a little something like this. With the use of this muckchuff pluck a track. With this, the apple goes from the tree to hand to a belt on the machine's arm and then to another, gently placing the apple in this 20 bushel bin. This machine has changed the game in apple picking, allowing this crew to fill this bin in under 20 minutes. Greg says the $65,000 he spent on this machine eight years ago has been well worth it because now they harvest without any worries of bruising during the process. But efficiency, productivity has gone up. Yeah. How much with this? Well, it's the quality of the fruit is so much better because we're able to throw out the bad ones and I, I have a little better handle on what's going on here. Apples that make their way into the bins will be sold in the farm store or to commercial customers. Oh, that one has a hole though. What about that? The not so pretty what apples will be sent here and turned into juice. When this machine goes through, you have to have a, a, a plan of attack with the people who are picking apples. Yeah. Everybody gets a zone. Right. Yeah, they get a zone. And the way this tree, the way the crop load is on this tree, I could almost get away with one person on the ground picking both sides. Right. Without this technology, Greg says he wouldn't have enough time to harvest all this crop, and the end result wouldn't be as sweet. Crunch test. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.